All right, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. I'm still away. All right, so we got a red fish that's been in the freezer forever. I always say forever, but it's been in there for a minute, for real. All right, I uh, put some lemon in here with it because I wasn't ready to cook it just yet. All right, I need to get the fins off. The fins. <laughs> I need to get the scales off. Y'all know I'm tripping. And I'm doing that with a spoon. See, come right off. See, see. Can you see it? Can you see it? Is it focusing? Look at that. Coming right off. So we're gonna go ahead and get all the scales off. All right, so I got majority of the scales off. You know, she gonna cook it with the head on. Yep. I had this bright idea that I wanted to throw it into um, the frying pan and fry it. And then uh, stuff it with veggies. But we're gonna skip frying. We always frying something. So what we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna bake it in the oven. Alright, so I'm just making sure no scales are on it. Cause ain't nothing like biting into some scale shade. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, there was a red fish. Gross! <laughs> Stop playing with your food. Playing with your food. Hell out. It got a tongue, right? There you go. Hell out. She's about to eat me. She's going to eat me. <laughs> I'm silly. Alright. Anyway, so it's clean, and all I did was use a spoon. The head part still got scales, but it's going to be fine. We're not eating that no way. All right, on to the next step, on to the next step. All right, let's get this fish into this pan. So the first thing I'm going to do is coat the bottom of the pan really well with olive oil. I don't know that this fish should even fit in here, but we back to see. Well, look at ya, look at ya. All right, so I wanna make sure not only is the bottom of the pan coated, I want to coat the fish itself. Cause I want my fins and my fish to crisp up really well. So it needs a really good olive oil bath, All right? It'll fit better if I was to cut the head off, but I need the head, I got to have it. All right, yep. Is nice and coated, making sure. Ah, right, yeah, baby. All right, so we're gonna season it with this all on the inside. And remember, fish doesn't. It you don't have to uh, use a whole lot of seasoning when you seasoning fish because you just don't. Don't have to. Really just don't have to. Alright, so I'm gonna put some onion in there. I would cook the veggies in the same pan, but I don't want my veggies to taste fishy. I want the fish to taste fishy. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Or not fishy. I want it Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't want it fishy, but I want it fishy. Y'all know what I'm saying? No, y'all don't. But we finna throw this in the oven. And I don't want it sticky to the pan, so I want to make sure it has plenty of olive oil, which it does. Alright, so into the oven, this bad boy go. At 350 degrees. Alright, I'm going to use this same skillet uh, right here to, um, on to char these first thing first. And then after I char these, then I'm going to make our stuff. Sauce. Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> like the guy choked, y'all. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in there. And this is squash and zucchini that I'm going to char. And I'm cutting them big because of how I want them to look on the plate, on our platter. And the beauty in this, I could just char them on both sides and then I could, whatever I'm not going to eat today, I could throw them in a Ziploc bag and I can heat them up at a later time. So let me go ahead and get my Ziploc 
together. Because I know I'm not eating all of these. Right? And this is a, a very healthy meal. You know, um, brown or darker. Put this thing on. There we go. I'll throw them all into a bowl and season them all at the same time. And all I'm going to season them with is a little salt and pepper. Nothing major. We, ain't, we don't have to show out on this one. Because what? They veggies and you want to taste the freshness of the veggies because you don't want you, you don't want um, the veggies to be the star of the show. You want the fish to be the star of the show. So... That's why we're doing it like this. And like I said, it's just something I had in my head. It's an idea I had in my head. Yeah, Alright, when they start looking like that, that's what you want. It's perfect. You see that? Nice little char on both sides. This one can go a little longer, but I don't want to. Because I don't want them to lose their uh, crunchiness. And if you cook it too long, then that's what's going to happen. It becomes soggy. And I don't want that. Okay, so now I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to get ready to transition my zucchini in and mushrooms, okay? Because I do, I want mushrooms, I want the green beans. I want it all like a pretty little platter, okay? And to get this, I have my heat up on high. As high as it can go. See it? High? I got it high as it can go. I cannot leave the stove at all. Okay? Alright, I'm going to finish these. Be right back. All right, let's do our zucchini. And when your skillet dries out, just add more uh, olive oil, okay? So you'll be constantly adding olive oil. And if you don't cut as fast as I do, just pre-cut the stuff before you add it into the skillet. Alright, I'm going to cut my heat down. Mainly because I can't see them no more. There's <laughs> too much steam in there. Too much. All right, the skillet turn it all the way down because we are ready to add in our uh, tomatoes so that we can toast those. And yes, remember that your uh, veggies do not have any seasoning on there at all right now. Like literally none whatsoever. So if you taste them, you're going to be like, ugh. But they are charred just like we want them to be, okay? 
So the next thing I'm about to do is grab my uh, grape tomatoes. Get them a nice little wash off. Okay, and then we want to char those. Char! I had to open up some doors, turn that, and got the whole apartment smoked out. Soak it off for a little bit. While they do that, for these, we're just going to add in some cracked black pepper. And some of that right there. And some salt. Okay, just some salt. I'm just going to use a little pink uh, Himalayan salt. And remember, I can always add to it, but I can never take it out. Once it's in there, it's in there. All right, get them a little toss. I know y'all like, it's the first time she ever just said salt and pepper, yup. Because we got seasoning on everything else. All right, that's dead on that. about my green beans when using that onion powder and garlic powder I would actually mix it into the uh, potato water that way it don't clump up on my green beans like it did see still tastes good because the flavor there but when I'm talking about this so good for Lord Jesus <laughs> That's like really delicious, y'all. Like for real. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. I ain't lying. I can sit here and eat just a bowl of green beans. All right, what we're doing now is charring our tomato for our sauce. Okay. I want to do that. Fish is cooking nicely. Smells really good. I know somebody said, let me see, let me see. Hold on. Gotta make sure our tomatoes are right. So hold on. See? Cooking very nicely, right? You see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Do I need to put you in the oven? It's hot in there. But it's cooking up rather nicely, okay? Alright, fish is cooking up very nicely. Let's go ahead and put our tomatoes into a separate bowl. And you have to um, roast your tomatoes in order to achieve this flavor for this sauce. If you don't, it's not gonna it's not gonna taste the same. I promise you it's not. All right, so we're going to pour in our coconut milk. The last time we made it, we used coconut um, cream. Yeah, coconut cream, but I don't have any coconut cream in my pantry. I got coconut milk, and I have done it with coconut milk. And let me tell you something. Honey, baby, chat. Besides me trying to cut myself, this this is the wash. The wash. It's very delish. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in some sriracha. Sriracha. If I say to measure this out, I would say use about three tablespoons of sriracha. But if you don't want your spicy spicy, I would say use two tablespoons, maybe one. <laughs> one, maybe two, I don't know. I like three. Cause I like heat. 
y'all already know that. So I'm going to fill my um, can that the coconut milk came out of. I'm going to fill it with water. And then I'm going to pour this in here. Just like that. Reason? Because I want to double the amount of sauce I have. So one can of coconut milk and one can of water. All right, and I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of this seasoning here, but use whatever you got at your house, okay? Then the next thing I'm going to add is some minced garlic and some minced, uh, would y'all know what I forgot to do my onion? Lord Jesus, I'm already messing up. Hold on. Hold on. So what we got to do is saute some onion. Got to saute a piece of onion. Okay? Because it's important. But I got the sauce on low, so let's get an onion into that back pan. All right, we got our onion. Put it in here. And use as much as you want. How much onion you want? If you want a hearty sauce, then I say put you some onion in there, baby. So if you don't like onion, then skip it. But I'm telling you, onion sets it off. They all marry together very well. All right, so we're gonna put in a tablespoon of minced garlic. How she know that's a tablespoon? Because she been cooking forever. Forever, forever, forever. Gonna get that mixed in there. Come on, baby. Put a little olive oil on the onion so they can go ahead and do their thing. I got a little ginger paste, but if you got fresh ginger, use that. I just had a little bit left, so I figured I'd go on and use it. Tell y'all, this will take your food to a whole nother level. Fresh ginger, well, ginger paste, I would say, uh, Two tablespoons, if you can get two tablespoons. If not, it's better one tablespoon. <laughs> that's all I got left in there. But that's all right. Yeah, I know we're going to try to scrape this here a little bit out of here. Sorry, y'all, in front of my drawer, I had to move you just a little bit. Just a teensy tiny bit. Get that out of there. There we go. Now, next thing we're going to add is a little curry. You're going to need just a little bit of curry powder. Uh, and I would say about a tablespoon. If you like more curry, then you do you. You curry yourself on up then, baby. You understand me? Because I couldn't get my two full tablespoons of ginger powder i mean a uh, ginger i'm going to add in just a little bit of ginger powder so that i can still get my reach my flavor okay the next thing i do i'm going to add in a little of the italian spaghetti seasoning but i want to mix this in really well before i do there we go i'm going to add this and I would say about a teaspoon. I know it don't look like a teaspoon, it look like more, but it is just a teaspoon, okay? You had a stir. Come on, onion. Just like that, get that a stir. So what we got in there so far, our sriracha, our curry, our ginger, our minced garlic, our onion will be there in a second. We got our Italian seasoning. Um, 
let's put in a little bit of granulated garlic and I do mean just a tiny bit not much uh, one third of a teaspoon I would say and a little bit of onion powder just a little bit and this is powder powder honey I wish I could have just found the granulated uh, onion but you get what the stove got and you move on and you make it work Get it a nice little stir. Our onion is ready. So we're going to put that over in here. All of it. No onion left behind, honey. I'm talking about not a piece, Jack. And get that stirred in there really good. And then we're going to add in, I would say a third or a fourth of a teaspoon of cornstarch. And it doesn't matter what brand of cornstarch you go get because this is really not even that brand. It's whatever I found at the store and I just kept this container and put it up there. That's how we do that right there. All right. I think we grabbed all our seasoning. Except for our, uh, we're going to put just a little bit of paprika. And I would say a third of a teaspoon of paprika. And uh, I don't remember if I even put cumin in there last time, but I'm going to put some in there this time. And I would say a, not even a third, just a tiny bit. And I'm talking about a tiny bit, honey. Just a little old bit, a tiny bit. And then we're going to stir. This is where you crank up your heat and you Stir, 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 stir. Crank the heat up, up. Okay? Crank it all the way up. Because what you want it to do is start burling. <laughs> you want it to boil. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to bring it up to a nice little boil. Alright, the last veggie I need to saute is my mushroom. So I rinse them off, and I just throw them in the pan. No salt, no pepper, no nothing. Cause in the meantime, in between time, I want my sauce to do its thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and add back in my tomatoes. Just like that. And when I add my tomatoes back in. I smash them, okay? Smash because they're gonna give it another boost in flavor, which I've already tasted. And baby, <laughs> if you go with them ingredients, that's all we put in there, honey, this is freaking delicious. But I want all my tomatoes smashed down, so. And I'm gonna crank the heat up because I need it to boil until it's thick. Woo, that tastes delicious. Oh, long. All right, our fish is almost ready to come out the oven. So, being it is almost ready, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit, or a light bit of lemon, right? That lemon juice on there and throw him right back him or her I don't know who they will back into the oven see can y'all say can y'all say all right so I'm back in the oven and I'm going to crank the heat up to about 425 because I want the skin to crisp up And get y'all right back over here to the stove. Right there. Oh yeah. All right, now I cut down the heat on that and just kind of let it percolate just a little bit. My mushrooms are ready to be mixed in with the other veggies. 
Actually, you know what? Let's go take it up a notch. There you go. Throw them in there. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. It's gonna be all on the same plate. Bam. Look at that. And I know somebody just said, well, I don't like mushrooms. Don't put it in there. You don't have to announce it to the world, baby, that you don't like mushrooms. Just don't put it in there. Don't even put them in your grocery basket. That way you ain't got to worry about it. All right. Woo woo. That's pretty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this plate together. So, hold on. All right, so we got our rice, and then I landed up the green beans. I landed up. I lined up the green beans, and I'm going to slap the fish right here. Then we're going to pour that sauce, and then we're going to put the mother veggies on there. So let's go ahead and put the other veggies on there. I'll let y'all see what I got going on, right? There we go. So we're going to put them on there nice and pretty. Like I said, we're not using a whole lot, but we're making it pretty. She got to have the color, color, got to have the color, right? So, yellow, yellow, green, yellow, green, just like that, yellow, and then green. Just like that, honey. All right, our fish ought to be ready. Let's see. Still not ready. All right, I'll be back when this fish is ready. I think it's cooked through, but I want the skin to crisp up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on broil to crisp up the skin. And I'll be back in about not even a minute. Because when you put it on broil, honey, you do not want to leave your masterpiece at all. All right, let's give God thanks. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this meal we're about to chew on. In Jesus' name, glory, hallelujah, we praise you for being on high. We praise you for lifting us up in our darkest hour and keeping us up even in our brightest. Lord, we want to just thank you for being you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, our fish are almost through brawling. I figure we'll pray while we wait. Pray while you wait, baby. Pray while... See, that's a word right there. Y'all could... I know somebody picked that up in their spirit. Pray while you wait, baby. And praise while you wait. Y'all... I know I ain't sharing this in sauce. This tastes so good. Ooh. Honestly, y'all... If y'all haven't made that sauce yet... What you waiting on? Are you intimidated? Are you intimidated, baby? woo See how it's browning? You see it? Yes, Lord. Get now. Lemon smell funny coming out the oven. <laughs> All right, let's pull our uh, fish out this oven. It'll be ready right now. Oh, yes, Lord. Look at that. Look at that. Looks scary, don't <laughs> Let's try to get it on this plate in one piece. So we need to make sure it's done before we go to talking that talking that noise, huh? Oh yeah, nice and flaky. Put them just like that right there. Oh we got look at that. Look at that. I don't want none of that out of there. Except for the onion. I mean, the uh, not the onion. This is lemon. I'm going to put that right there on the end. <laughs> Use all your stuff, child. It's tasty. It's actually really good. Hmm. All right, it'll make you pretty. Y'all already know what makes it pretty. 
microgreens. You don't need a whole lot to decorate, just a little bit. All right? Oh, I did that wrong. We supposed to put our precious sauce on there. Y'all know I get ahead of myself sometimes. 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 All right, so we're going to have to fix this. Let me sit y'all over here. Sit y'all right on over here. Because I was a little premature on that. All right. There we go. Let's grab it right there. And you know what? I'm doing y'all a, a, a disservice. Can you see this? Can you see what I'm doing? All right. Nah. Here. Here. <laughs> like your mama do you. Here. Now we put the Michael Green back on now. She just as country as she could be, show we. I don't know why y'all be wanting me to act out like somebody else. I can't be nobody else but me, baby. Been doing it too long. Been doing it too long, my love. Alright. Look at that. Look at that. It look a mess. Huh? No, it don't. It look... I know that's scaring you. Don't worry about that. That ain't the part you worry about. This is what you worry about right here. Smothered red fish, red snapper with some veggies and some rice. All right, y'all. We done did this thing. What did we do? We cook. We finna sit down and eat. And no, I can't eat all of this. So half of this will be going into the freezer. But we're going to take some pictures. And, uh, yeah. Take pictures for the gram. All right. Thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank you for loving on me as I continue to love on you. I see y'all on the next uh, video. We got our uh, Brussels sprouts. And uh, we're going to do our challenge tomorrow. So we're going to do a video cooking our Brussels sprouts. And then we're going to sit down and eat them. All right. I love y'all. See y'all shortly.